I think we underestimated when we got over there how much we didn't know about the culture. Well, that was evident from our first trip when we take a pre-production trip over there to try to immerse ourselves in the culture and understand the challenges and see locations. And we realized that I just assumed Tokyo would be like any other big city where a lot of international business is going on and they're, it's friendly to you know, the West and the Europeans coming in, but it wasn't at all. So right away we just, you know, felt totally out of water. We developed the script, Jeff was, Jeff was writing it, and uh, kind of our process is, you know, once we lock in a draft, then we start looking for production companies in Tokyo. So, you know, we hired a production company. So they do audition, they film those, we look at those, and then when we go for our week-long trip, we bring them in for callbacks. We were working with Tony at, um, at Dentsu for the casting, and she managed to get just just A-list talent in Japan to come audition for the, the key roles um, from, the, from the biggest agencies. And we had such an abundance of just amazing talent to choose from. It was really hard to sift it down. And we're sitting in this little room and having them audition the most dramatic scene in the movie and just over and over and over again, they, the, the emotion that they were, and we couldn't understand a word obviously, but the emotion that they were conveying in the performances was like really encouraging. I mean, Brent and I really left those sessions feeling like we're going to have, you know, great talent. Uh, we only had one, I think one thing we disagreed on. I definitely didn't want the one he wanted to keep. He definitely didn't want to keep uh, the character I wanted to keep. And so we decided, I think we were oh, well, maybe we'll throw, it all, throw them both out. And, uh, no, let's just keep them. So it's like, and so then we kept going through the audition process. And sure enough, the girl that I wanted to keep ended up being Anna Ishibashi, and she played our lead role, Asuka. And then the girl that Jeff wanted to keep ended up being Michi. It just made everything so much easier just to have a cast that really understood the story, who, you know, who asked the right questions in rehearsals to get their mind around the roles, and that way they could really deliver and, and really raise the, raise the level of the film up. So, and then also on the production scout, uh, we had our DP there, Tom Marvel, who had worked with on Intus Manos. He was able to work quickly, but yet deliver beautiful frames. Uh, he's an amazing camera operator. So, you know, the first thing I was, we got, we got to, you know, secure Tom for Tokyo. So we spent uh, time going all over Tokyo, just looking for these, you know, great locations. And so we could, you know, start preparing ourselves for the setting which we'd be in. You know, finding a space that was big enough for a crew to work and um, that was aesthetically um, interesting, um, especially the interiors was was tough. You get a lot of no's from people when you want to try and you know pull something off. So it was just it was kind of difficult to um, to be agile um, in that environment. And then a big part of the script uh, was you know took place in the Love Hotel district, and we really wanted to find a real Love Hotel. Um, that was one of the advantages to going to Tokyo is finding these really, you know, authentic locations. The, the thing with Tokyo is a lot of people said, you know, don't go to Tokyo, it's too hard to shoot, and, you know, we thought, well, we're a small crew, we can get in and out. I think, luckily, we just, we didn't know better or else we would, probably wouldn't have done it. 